four more comics getting ready to be sent out to PGX to be graded. If you want to know what they are, well, just continue watching. This video is sponsored by PGX Grading Services. Get one free pressing of your choice when you grade 10 with the code We Love Comics Free Press. Link in description. What's up, my comic book lovers? My name is Chris, and this is my channel, We Love Comics. And today I'm going to show the four key issue slash holy grail comics I am going to be sending off to be graded. And if you're not familiar with this, each and every month, usually either at the end of the month or the beginning of the next month, I always do a unboxing from PGX. That's why you see that little ad that you see in the videos. And um, they're a lot of fun to do. I do them live. You get to see me um, learn the grades with you. So hopefully you'll check those out. Check out the playlist if you haven't seen any before. And what I always do is show the four books that I'm going to be sending and then tell you what I think the grades are going to be. All right. This book right here is a book I got probably sometime around 2015, maybe the end of 2014. Uh, this is the Invincible Iron Man issue number one. Uh, I paid $225 for this book, which in itself, even for if it was a lower grade, would be a great book price. But this one, I would say, is probably a 6.0. Now, it has a few hairline color breaks maybe a total of five of them maybe six all together but overall the colors on this book look fantastic um a pressing could help it even further and definitely a book i am looking forward to getting graded all right this one was one of my first grail comics this is the one that I got before I got the upgrade, which I got graded a couple of weeks, well, actually a month or two ago. This is obviously Daredevil number one, which is the first appearance of Daredevil and Origin. And you can see he has his lovely banana suit, which he had through um, issues one through six. Now, this one's seen better days. Now, when I bought this book and I opened it, and I highly recommend you always open things, there was some silver tape on like two pages. I managed to get them off. But on the back cover, from about here all the way across, was this really weird silver metallic tape. I don't know what these people were thinking. So I had to tear that off. But it's only the the bottom part of the cover. But, I mean, the staples are intact. The staples. Yeah, man, the staples are intact. I don't know where that came from. But um, the spine has seen better days. There is browning here and here. I don't know what the owner of this book did. Um, it's got a little color loss right there on the L. little tiny piece of the corner missing. So I would say this is about a 1.5 to maybe a 2.0. I think 2.0 might be pushing it. But here's the best part. I only paid $52.08 for this book. So, I mean, for the price, how do you go wrong? I, I can't complain about this one bit. Looking to forward to getting that graded. Uh, this is another one. Uh, it's one of the books that got stolen from me years ago, but this is now my third copy. One of them I have an 8.0. One I recently got graded came back a 5.0. And, of course, this is Amazing Spider-Man number 129. First appearance of the Jackal and the Punisher. Very key issue. Uh, this one absolutely is going to benefit from a great, uh, from a pressing because there's a little concave here, which means somebody that owned this book stacked a whole bunch of books on top of each other, and the weight of the staples and the thicker part of the book caused that little indent, so a pressing will help it because it didn't break color. Uh, there is a stain here and here, but it does not go all the way through the book. As you can see, overall, the colors stand out. So I would say, again, I don't know how much stains really affect grades, because I know CGC doesn't go crazy with that, but we'll see. And there's a little tiny piece right here in the corner that looks like it got ripped off a little tiny bit. So I would say this is probably a 4.0 to a 4.5. I uh, only paid $371.54 for this book. And, of course, that always includes shipping and handling. 
All right, last but not least, this is definitely a book I showed recently. Uh, this is actually my second copy. I cannot believe I was able to acquire a second one. This is Action Comics, issue number 252, first appearance and origin of Supergirl. If this didn't have, like you can see here, it was either a rodent or an insect bite. I believe it's probably a rodent. Bit all the way through, but as you can see here, it's barely a quarter of an inch. Here it's a little bit further in, but again, I mean, look at the spine. Spine looks amazing. There's some wrinkles here that could be pressed out. Um, I would say, I don't know how much this is going to really take away from the grade, but considering the price I paid, this can come back a 0 0.5 and I'll still make it out of it. I'll still make it ahead of it because I only paid $389.45 for this book. In a 2.5, that's about a $900 book. So I'm going to say it's probably about a 2.0 to a 2.5 grade. So uh, let me know what you think about that one with that little chewing. What do you think that would do to the grade? So we got some really good books that I'm going to be sending out. And um, I look forward to seeing what the grades are. I won't know the grades until I make the video. So uh, hopefully you'll see these when they come back. It usually takes about three, three and a half weeks for them to get returned. And uh, then we'll do the live show from there. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. If you want to give it a thumbs up, I appreciate it. If you want to share the video even better, hit subscribe. And don't forget to wait until the end of the video to see who's today's surprise subscriber shout out. And if you want to be one, just hit subscribe. So thanks for watching. And don't forget, it's not you. It's not I. It's We Love Comics. And I wonder, with all that space travel, is she wearing deodorant? Super bad odor.